Well, it's one of the classic, iconic images of the Christmas season. Workers dressed as Santa with Santa hats, shaking the bell for the Red Kettles, for the Salvation Army. So, of course, we're joined by with Major Thomas L. Applin. Got it of the Salvation Army, and then we have Doug, Valley Home Center, and of course, the man of the hour himself, we have Santa. He told me his last name was Claus, just in <laughs> case I was confused, so we got that. So let's talk about the, you know, the red kettles, because of course everyone knows what they look for, but I'm sure that some people pass by them, not really knowing exactly what the cause is related to them. So, uh, of course, we're coming to you for this one. The Salvation Army is at work 365 days a year, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. It's, uh, it's incredible the amount of, of good we do for the community and supporting people and the funds we raise at Christmas are essential to making it through the whole year and funding all those programs. Because you really have a short time of frame where the red kettles are out, so it really is important that when you do pass them, you stop by, you do give the, maybe the change in your pocket because this is such a major fundraiser for the Salvation Middle Army. of November to Christmas Eve, that's the red kettle time. Now, we'll take other donations as well. If people want to write a check or they want to go to onlineredkettle.org, um, they certainly can make donations, but the kettles is a, is a iconic uh, part of the Salvation Army. And you know, Doug, we've had you here teamed up with the Salvation Army before in our kitchen cooking. So where does value play into all of this? Well, you know, we, we've been working on this campaign for about 14 years now. And uh, this year we're, we're happy to present a check to the Salvation Army for a little over 47000 And you know, what's important to that for us is that it's a community commitment. It's a, a commitment to the community for us. And, and we've had the opportunity to see the work that the Salvation Army does. We've had the opportunity to talk to people who've been affected by the Salvation Army. And, and it really is the right thing to do. And it, it's less about value and it's more about our customers, the people who are actually donating the money, and you know, it's a, it's a great tie-in. And then you know, Santa, of course, you're you're very busy. The, you know, two days out of the year, giving everything you have out there. So why is it important that people not only think about what they can get out of Christmas, but also what they can give to it? Well, like you said, Christmas time, I'm a little busy, but the rest of the year, people still need help, and I can't be there every year. So I have some special elves, and I think the Salvation Army helps serve as my special elves. And not everything can come down the chimney. And I think the stuff that can't fit down a chimney, that's what the Salvation Army brings. And I couldn't do it without them. And then, Major, again, let's re really quick talk about where this money's going. A lot of people, before they donate, they do like to know where they're giving and what they're giving to. So, so where do these funds, are, where are they allocated afterwards? Well, the Salvation Army does the things that most people think the Salvation Army does. Food, clothing, shelter, those are important things. But in addition to that, we're doing things like a, a senior citizen center and children's programming and... Um, all kinds of things to benefit employment, teaching people about being employed and getting jobs. And those are the things that help people with a hand up um, to get to a better way of life. Now, for people out there that want to donate their time, is there still opportunities to, to ring the bell for the Red Kettles? There's a few hours left between now and uh, Christmas Eve, so if there's someone that wants to ring, they should contact us at the Salvation Army. We'll set them up to ring. All right, well, thank you guys both for taking out a busy time out of your set schedule. And, of course, Santa, I know that you have a lot to do, so we're going we're gonna to end here so you can get right back to work.